In this video, I'll show you seven free ways to convert subtitles or captions to different formats online. Hi, my name is David, and if this is your first time watching my video tutorials and you get value from the content that you watch, kindly consider subscribing, liking the video, and sharing it with your friends. Let's begin this video. Here's a quick scenario. You have a subtitle file. For example, I have an SRT subtitle file open inside Notepad, and this is what an SRT subtitle file looks like a number, time codes, the subtitle lines, uh, and then a space, and then a number, and so on and so forth. Let's say you want to convert this SRT subtitle file into a different format. For example, let's say you want to convert it to plain text. Let's say you want to convert it to VTT that is supported by HTML5 players, and you don't want to install any application. What do you do? The simplest uh, option available is to look for options available online. So what options are available? In this video, I'll show you seven examples or seven websites that you can use to automatically convert your subtitles, SRT, VTT, to different subtitle formats or even just plain text. So let's begin with the first website, Subtitle Edit Online, and it's still in beta version, uh, but it does the job as good as the uh, package or the installation package that you can install on your computer. So all you need to do, and by default, this is what you get and i'll make sure that i will avail all the links to these different websites in the description below because the urls are pretty long so this is what you get by default once you open you'll find a, a, a default subtitle file placed in here but uh, let's just begin let's go to subtitle new so that you can empty out the whole field and then we come to subtitle open and we want to open the subtitle file that i just uh, illustrated a couple of minutes ago. Just choose file and then let's go to convert subtitles. Just click on it and click on open. Once I click on open, you're going to see the subtitle name here. And when you hover over it, it's going to show you the name of the uh, subtitle file. And then we have the frame rate. I don't know the frame rate of that particular subtitle, but I know uh, the encoding is in UTF minus eight. So I'll change that to UTF minus eight and then just click on load subtitle. It's going to load up. And if you wanted to edit your subtitle, make any changes, you can also load the video via URL uh, or from a disk. But all we need to do here is just convert this to a different format. This is an SRT subtitle file. So we come up to subtitle. Let's say we want to export as plain text. Just click on export as plain text. And we have a couple of options. To merge all lines, all these lines instead of them of the lines being, uh, for example, like this, they be merged uh, and break lines uh, for each line to be uh, its own individual line. Uh, but let's say uh, we decide to merge all lines and then we say remove styling and then let's say download plain text. Once you click on download, automatically it's going to download onto the computer as a text file and we can click on it to open. And this is what we get. Uh, the lines have been merged. Uh, without any spaces and all that uh, but uh, they uh, if you if you notice the uh, the formatting is not that bad I feel it's good it's not really that bad but I wish that it would do better into like doing paragraphs or, or something of the sort but that's uh, exporting to plain text what if you wanted to export to a format like VTT uh, let's just come to subtitle save or download and then from the drop down here, just select the subtitle format you want uh, to export to. So uh, subtitle edit online, uh, like subtitle edit, the installation package has a bunch of options that you can use uh, and it's really packed with different formats. Let's say we want the web video text track, that is the VTT, uh, uh, this one, just click on save or download. It's going to automatically download as a VTT. So if we open it up, we get the title as always with web VTT files. There's a title and then it lacks numbers unlike uh, the SRT file. Uh, here's the SRT file. It has numbers and lacks a title. And then you see there's a full stop between, I think the, the milliseconds here and there's a comma in the SRT. So you see the differences here. So we've used uh, subtitle edit online to convert our subtitle into plain text and then into a web VTT subtitle file. 
let's go on with the other free options available and subtitle edit is one of the best because it has different options available and you can still do your editing inside here so option number two is using happy scribes online subtitle editor and there's this subtitle editor but let's say we want uh, to convert there is a subtitle uh, converting tool just click on this now make sure I provide these links below to, uh, the, the URL is too long so this subtitle converter converts your subtitles into different formats and at uh, the moment or at the time of recording this video they support uh, SRT and VTT as the formats that you can actually import uh, into uh, this particular program uh, let's just click on select file and we just go back to our SRT file here and just click on open the good thing with happy scribe is that from the formats you can choose web VTT Microsoft Word a text file or PDF and for this let's say we want to export or convert our particular subtitle into a PDF just click on it, PDF and then click on convert subtitle after like a couple of seconds depending on the length or the size of your SRT it's going to begin downloading and here's our PDF it's downloaded and if I click on open this is our PDF file uh, with the subtitle what you'll notice is that it only stripped off the numbers and the time codes from the uh, SRT subtitle file to convert the SRT to PDF so that's it for happy scribe and happy scribe is an automatic uh, transcription application that if you'd like to test it out uh, check it out it supports up to 119 languages that you can transcribe the next tool is 3play media and uh, it has a free caption converter tool uh, and this will help us convert subtitles to different formats so this is what happens the caption converter lets you convert SRT which are subrip subtitles or SBV this is YouTube's subviewer subtitle format to different formats like flash DFXP, SMI, SEC, uh, Flash, this QT, QuickTime, STL, and Web VTT for HTML5 media players. So, this is something that you need to know. They only support at the time of recording this video. They only support uh, SRT and SBV. So, let's say we use our subtitle file because their process is different from what we've already seen. Because you need to copy and paste the text inside here let's say we choose our output format first let's say we want web vtt and uh, that's uh web video text track subtitle file and then let's go in and copy this text uh, from our uh, uh, srt subtitle file just click inside here Control v to paste it's going to paste all the text inside here you can uh, just adjust this to see uh, your subtitle file etc but once you're satisfied just click on convert my file and uh, it's going to start doing its thing and once it's done here we have it just click on it and it's going to give you what we've seen uh, as the example of a web vtt file the title are uh, the timings but now with three play media you see that we are getting a line middle line 90 percent we're getting that uh for all the initial lines uh so for this one uh, you're getting a line middle line uh, 84 percent really depending on the length of the caption uh, so just make sure that you know uh, that uh, with uh, three play media they tend to change uh, the alignments uh, to what they've set the program to do but it's a good and easy and free way to convert srt subtitles convert sbv subtitles into different formats that are supported the next website is Subtitle Tools, and this is a pretty famous website, and it has tools for syncing, fixing, and converting subtitles. So if we can just scroll down, there are converters to convert to SRT, convert to WebVTT, SUP to SRT, all these formats, plain text, and also you can sync the subtitles using the subtitles shifter, uh, where you just adjust a couple of maybe seconds if that was what is out of sync or partial sub shifter uh, and this you select as uh, different parts of a particular let's say a couple of lines that are out of sync and you can also do uh, SRT cleaning removing converting uh, to Unicode uh, UTF-8 uh, and subtitle merging color changing and also turning normal Chinese subtitles into romanized pinyin subtitles but for the purposes of this video we can just uh, try out one of these let's say we want to convert 
to WebVTT. Just click on that. And then the supported subtitle formats include SRT, uh, Alpha Substation, uh, Substation Alpha, SMI, and Sub. Just click on Choose File, and then just click on it, and click on Open. And once we do that, just click on Convert to VTT. So once you do that, uh, you can just click on Download, and it's going to download onto your computer uh, with at least a, a name, uh, their website, uh, or that converted the file, and the name of your subtitle file uh, with the original. And this is, as we've seen, a web VTT, how it looks like uh, from uh, previous examples. So Subtitle Tools is an awesome website, and uh, it's something I can recommend because it's free, as all the tools I've mentioned. Next up is Go Transcripts Subtitle Converter, and this is also another free option, and it's pretty good as well, and supports a bunch of formats as the export options. So uh, let's go to Upload, and we just upload the file again, just click on Open, and uh, it's going to be available here, and you can keep uploading files and then uh, select the formats you want and then uh, convert. But let's see, uh, this is all we need to do. There are a bunch of options available here uh, that we can choose, uh, but let's just say we want to convert into advanced uh, substation alpha. Let's just click on convert. That's an ASS, uh, they need us to select boats. I think this is a boat, this is a boat, this is a boat. Let's verify. If uh, that's all they needed from us, then it's going to download as an ASS or Advanced Substation Alpha subtitle file. And if you click on open, it's going to open inside uh, IGSub, uh, but you can still uh, uh, set it to open uh, inside an application like uh, Notepad. So I think uh, I can just, I can just, let's see, let's see if we can actually see it inside the downloads. Open new window. Here we have, let's say it's this particular file. If we just refresh, let's say uh, right click, open with notepad so that we can see what it looks like. This is what an advanced substation alpha file looks like inside notepad. So you'll see the script info, the styles available for the different uh, subtitles, etc. Uh, and then the, uh, the, the numbers or what all these time codes for your subtitles. So that's an advanced substation alpha uh, that we've converted using uh, Go Transcripts subtitle converter. It's pretty awesome, it's free. Uh, just make sure that you try all these websites out so that you see if they work for what you need. The next website is Revs caption converter and these converts SRT caption files for free. All tools are free. So uh, for now uh, you see that they only support SRT subtitle files and uh, they've mentioned you can select multiple files. So let's just select our file again. Let's click on it and uh, they have a bunch of options. You can uh, use uh, upload from your device, Dropbox, Box, Google Drive or OneDrive. This is pretty awesome and unique uh, because the others we've not seen uh, those different options. So let's just click on file to upload. Let's upload our file again, click on open. And here's our subtitle file. Just click on upload to upload. It will only take a second, let it upload. There we have it. And uh, you'll now see it here, uh, available. Uh, and then you can now select the output formats. Let's say we wanted to get a transcript uh, or even Facebook ready subrip. And uh, the reason why they're Facebook ready subrip subtitles is because with Facebook, you end up needing to add the extension of the language inside the subtitle. So this is something that you can work with. And then once you get to the convert uh, caption files, you'll need to enter your email address so that you receive the converted caption files. I'll not do that in this tutorial, but this is what you need to do. It's pretty awesome and slick. So please make sure that you test it out to see if it serves your needs. Finally, we have captionsconverter.com uh, and this quickly converts YouTube SBV captions to SRT or XML, but the subtitle formats supported include .SRT or .SBV or XML and also zip file that contains SRT subtitle files. So if you have many subtitle files and you want to convert them uh, massively, just zip them and then use captions converter. So let's choose our file again. Let's come to here. 
and click on open and then let's say we just want to convert it to a text file so that's what we want to do and then just click on convert once we click on that it's going to do its magic in the background and here we have our subtitle file converted into a text file so just click on it and this is what we get uh, with uh, space in the lines let's just maximize and this is what it looks like so basically we've used seven websites that are free that offer caption and subtitle converting services to convert our srt file into different formats we've converted an srt file to web vtt into plain text into a pdf etc and it's something that i would recommend you test it out especially if you're on the move and you're not near your computer you can use these different options available to convert subtitles from different formats uh, into uh, into different formats uh, and each and every tool that i've mentioned has its own unique properties so it's up to you to see what works for your needs and uh, as a recap we have subtitle edit online we also have the subtitle converter in happy scribe we also have the free uh, caption converter uh, from 3play media and then the subtitle tools uh, from subtitletools.com and then we have the subtitle converter from go transcript we also have uh, the rev caption converter and finally we have captionsconverter.com which tool do you think you'll begin or test out uh, initially so let me know in the comments and i hope that this video is going to be of value to you thank you for watching this video and until next time stay safe and never stop learning thank you for watching this video